Well, hello again, folks, and welcome to this video edition of the 2017 BP World Ice Art Championships Youth Classic. Tonight, we'll be awarding the medals for first, second, and third place uh, in each of those categories. And uh, we have five contestants for the awards. We'll be beginning shortly, and you'll be able to see the awards. Coming up behind me now is Hank Bartos, and he will be emceeing the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Please gather around, and I'd like to welcome everybody to the World Ice Art Championship sponsored by BP. Tonight, we're going to give the awards for the Youth Classic. This is the youth of the community that have gotten together and have carved some wonderful sculptures that you will see back at the back, just to the left of the single block classic. So tonight we're going to be giving the winners of that competition their awards. They not only get a medal, but they also get uh, monetary prizes and a certificate. So I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight and participating in this. I'd like to thank Gisla and Joan, who are the ones that coordinate most of this event. I'd like to thank Steve and for his uh, TV episodes that he puts on. And I'd like to thank all the youth that come out and participate in this event. So at this time, Gisela, you can call up the winners. First, we'd like to call Xiaoming Q up to the stage, and also known as Howie. Howie. Howie had to withdraw from competition because of unwanted extra help. <laughs> yeah, hey! Jenna Gannon for her sculpture Frozen Fox Love. And her teammate Malachi Miller. Hey, hey. <laughs> In the bags, they're getting a sweatshirt and the pins and also a poster of their sculpture. Next is the Drumming Beast sculpture. First one is Tim Dorder. So I take it this is the third place. <laughs> Do a dance. <laughs>
They're heavy. <laughs> Now this is the young man that comes back each year and he always does a Stargate theme. <laughs> Next, for the sculptor of Veritas, it's Gwyneth Poe. And Corbin Tomas Chixi. <laughs> 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 All right. We know who it is. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is a team that uh, they've been coming back in the last couple of years. Uh, they're both homeschooled. Uh, he's uh, enrolled in uh, college courses and plays sports for um, Lathrop. And this is the first place. Yeah. There you have it. He gets a double whammy because his uh, partner was unable to show up, so therefore <laughs> he's going to take it to her. Uh -oh. <laughs> Very good. You may discover why I don't use the mic very much because my voice fades pretty easily. Um, is Kevin Laughlin here and Jim Warner? Well, that's too bad. We, we are giving them some checks for their help and sharing their own tools with the sculptors. So if you see them, tell them to come by my office and pick it up. And we just, I want to thank everybody for coming and for the hard work that you've put in. And everybody worked hard and were safe and had appeared to be having great fun. So uh, good night and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And next year, bring all your friends and everybody in your family that's young and that wants to learn how to carve ice. This is the place to learn how to do it. So thanks. Okay, so there you have it. The award's given, the ice carved. Uh, you can come out to the ice park uh, for the next uh, 10 days and see those sculptures. Uh, there's a big green sign out there that says Youth Ice Art Classic. Uh, this competition is open to school-age kids all the way up through high school. Uh, the ice is provided, there is a safety class, and there are instructors. So uh, if you have friends or, or if you would like to do this yourself, um, this is a, a worthwhile effort. Uh, bring your friends out and uh, join in the fun. I'm Steve Iverson, and from the Ice Art Park in Fairbanks, Alaska, we'll see you next year.